give it to you later. Oh. Why are you? Oh, let me see. A tag. Oh, you must be the main centerpiece of this artist's work. Wow. Stunning. A little bit different than their second focal piece and the other pieces they have in their gallery, but very, very beautiful nonetheless. Oh, they just look lovely. Oh, I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time with you. extra minutes to take some notes on you, judge you, assess you. Mm. Well, I, if you didn't know, am one of the critics for this art show. It's going to be going around and um, I write pieces on each um, artist's gallery, what they've put up, what their secondary pieces, and particularly like you, what their main piece is all about. And I'll write about your themes, cohesiveness, their style, their passion. Mm -hmm. So, I am going to take my first initial notes on you. So, gallery piece. Frame. I'll have to measure your frame after. I've got my measuring tape here for those measly measurements in a bit. Well, the gallery is very particular for certain expositions, expositions, sorry, such as this one where the painting's art must remain within a certain size range. And as well, I like to And choose this over here. Alright. That must be determined as well if I want to maybe measure some of the shapes, things that the artist has going on. So I can speak on it in my articles with a more precise method. I always believe that you can never take too many notes. Only not enough. So I just don't want to get to my article writing after today and you know, miss out on some details. Be looking for some more information and end up having to come all the way back over here across town. So still a nature-based piece like the artist's other works. We do have like two or three nature pieces that are surrounded by okay. I took some notes on those other guys as well, but you're the shining star for today. So you're about a year old painting, as I can see here. Mm -hmm. You're old, 23. Yeah, 
early 23, so just a year old now, okay? Very interesting. So there's definitely something in the list of old paintings, well, at least in this artist's particular gallery. Some of the earlier works actually that have like a finer brush stroke, a grander design to it. Take it more quite an interesting shape. Leading This infinity age just based on there being broader, heavier brush strokes here. They don't seem to be more full of paint on the left, the left, left, and right, right, right. Then lead into the middle where there's a little bit of paint and it's lighter, it's brighter. Guides, guides right in. Hmm. Very Definitely ones I have not seen before. We're not seeing much of them. Here, my dear, you can just sit back, relax, 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 relax. I like to sometimes, if I'm heavily inspired, write out some of the full sentences and tidbits here and there that I would definitely consider putting into my articles. And then sometimes I swap between that and just very basic notes that I'm going to sit and think about. should be all the initial details and general explanation of you that I need so far. Okay, what I am going to take a second to do is get some measurements for you. Because as a critic, it's not only my job to be super accurate with everything, but to also help um, maintain the rules of the gallery and of the particular 
current setup that is happening. So I need to make sure that your artist kept you in the right um, dimensions. From my first initial look, I'm not seeing any issues, but let me see here. So we're gonna get across here on your frame. I'm gonna go all the way around your frame, and then I'll take a couple cute measurements of the trees, the foliage here. I get the depth of both these as well. I'm not too worried about the trim. I think it's all going to be the same, but I have to check. Sorry about that, if I'm bumpy or anything. And finally, your top measurements here. Hmm. Interesting. Let me take that again. Oh. So you're actually a fraction of an inch longer on your top frame than your bottom frame. Take that actually one more time to confirm. Okay. Well, well, that shouldn't be a problem because all the dimensions are within the same range. Though that does make me wonder then, dear. Are or is your frame handmade then? It might just be because. Usually mass-produced ones are perfect length on the nose, but this one's got some heart to it. And if it's, you know, the slightest bit off from the top and the bottom lengths by just such a small fraction, that could be a sign that it was designed with the, Oh, yes, I can see here. Actually, on your sides, that your trim is just a little bit. in a certain way that looks like a handsaw. Okay. Well, that's lovely. I'm going to have to make a note of that and talk and see if the artist actually had made their own frames or just at least for you made one. Which is great for customization, design, but makes the artist more interesting in my eyes. Makes you more interesting in my eyes. <laughs> okay, well, moving on from the frame, I'm gonna take a couple measurements of the all main trees at the foreground here. Just because I want to have measurements in case I want to talk about it in my article. I'm not sure exactly how I'd use it, but I've been surprised before. <laughs> Good. 
here. Good. 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 And you're gonna do the last two like little ones, the smallest one. Good. And the oval one. Good. Okay. Those are great, my dear. A little bit extra to talk about if need be. Now, to finish off your inspection before I go and take my final notes, I'm gonna just do a quick inspection clean and be okay using this sponge here. Oh wow, well, to do maintain the standards of the gallery to make sure that you are well cared for, and that the artists, you know, make sure you're not dusty, they clean you up, make sure your paint is, is touched up or re-oiled if it needs to be before being brought in. We just kind of have the standard of respecting the art. So if we want to respect the artist, we need to make sure that they respect their own art. If that makes any sense. Good. So give me two seconds here if you don't mind me. so far. Excellent. Good. Yeah. Nothing. I wasn't worried at all, but I have to check part of my job. I'm just gonna go around to free and corners, okay? Good, good. Nope, no flaking. No dust, even in the corners. Your artist did a good job of caring for you, even as a painting that's just about a year old now. Okay, and along the top. Good. Clear, you're good to go. Well, I'm gonna take my last couple notes, dear, about the measurements, the uh, cleaning, just uh, making sure I have this all written down so I remember. And then I will leave you beat. Have a break before you get put on display tomorrow and you have all these hundreds of people coming through here. I'm sure you'll be a popular one. Okay, so what do I say? Well, I think, check, 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 and check. I've done everything that I need to do with you today, my dear. It was lovely to be in your presence. I'm definitely going to come back 
um, and take some more notes from afar when the gallery is open tomorrow or maybe the next day and kind of talk to people more about you, what they think about you, um, and get some uh, quotes and feedback from them to finish off my article. Alright? Well, it was lovely to meet with you and work with you. And I will be seeing you around soon. Alright, my dear. Take care. Bye now.